to be here with us uh, at the Champions Every Cup 2016. Year, this is the seventh year uh, they are here. Huh? They do a lot of work with younger players. I mean, here uh, he's uh, 21. They they did a third place in yeah, Sandefjord. Sandefjord. The girls won what did the first place. And, and they're really funny guys. Uh, and it's of really course, <laughs> if you if you are watching Sandefjord, you will see that Orcas play uh, the way the uh, U21 play because the trainer of the U21 of, of um, Colombia is uh, is one play of the Orcas. So, and they have been very successful in the years in Colombian league. So, this is the style they're they're continue to to teach to the new generation. So, next so. game, super interesting because we will see one of the favorite games, uh, one of the uh, most successful games, uh, player teams, uh, which is Molde against uh, Malmö Triton. Um, Malmö always uh, um, is uh, good for surprises because yeah, uh, they did win uh, the Champions Cup 2 one day. Uh, I don't know past. how long, in the past. Uh, don't know how long time ago changes. it was. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, time changes, see. but no, uh, like see, it is, like I say. So yes. let's see uh, Molde. Uh, if you've seen them uh, playing in the uh, in the last uh, months, uh, still a strong team, uh, but uh, other teams getting close. And uh, let's see what uh, Malmetriton uh, uh, from Sweden can do. Uh, it's no, going to be a tough game. I think it's in favorite of Molde. Um, but yeah. not knowing what uh, Malmö can, uh, what Swedish team can bring here yeah. in the water. Sadly, sweet, the um, rugby is having a hard time in Sweden right now. They are not being able to to make it grow quite like it used to be in the past. Um, so it's on each team in the in the country try to get as many new comers as possible, so that it you know they kind of start having more players and, and improve again. It's amazing. Uh, how the Colombians have been developed more and more and since they're coming to the Champions Cup that helped them to grow even more and, and, and develop and get better. So, um, which game is it? It's the this fifth is the or sixth fifth game, game okay, of the day. If you just tuned in uh, from uh, uh, Norway or Sweden, uh, this is Champions Cup 2016 here in Berlin and you're watching uh, Molde from Norway against uh, Malmö Triton from Sweden, uh, Molde in blue, Triton uh, in white and the game will start uh, soon. Um, let's see what both teams can bring in the water. Referees are going down, seconds before the start of the game. Here we go. Mami, uh, Molde succeeded in uh, getting to the ball first and we are now on the way to the um, basket of uh, Malmö Triton and uh, already the the Norwegian, no, Norwegian players are uh, positioned on the open side to get the ball. They have a little bit of uh, fumble around with the ball, but uh, really fast pass playing and already the first goal. So this is not much playing around. Uh, they were pass passing the ball to each other quite fast around uh, on the pool, uh, down on the pool, bottom around the basket and scored from the close side right uh, into a, a little hole left by the um, goalie from Army Triton. So 1 0 already for Norway. So Malmö trying to equalize, uh, but uh, we have a fast counter attack. The ball was snatched away by. Um, by Molde player. I think it was uh, so Ivo. I'm here, back. One and, zero, uh, I, I miss it. They recover the ball, Malmö uh, Triton recover the ball and try to get through to the 
middle, but they are stopped by uh, the Malmö players for checking, and we are now already back again on the Swedish basket on the open side. Uh, the fast passing, ball passing starts again. The ball was lost by the Molde player, recovered by a Swedish player. Now we are on the way back in the middle of the pool, but already stopped in the middle by Norwegian players. But uh, the breakthrough did succeed, and Malmö is now at the basket of Molde. Uh, but there was a pass to a Molde player, and not to An Sophie playing for uh, Malmö Triton. Mm. And uh, Molde is in ball position and uh, they are stopped in the middle of the pool but now they are going in two players coming in uh, one four checker defender and goalie from Amitriton but they couldn't stop them classical molder play with a lot of push um, from the, the front side of the basket right uh, right in even though there was a defender a four checker which was Anzofi and uh, the goalie on the basket <coughs> yeah um Seven minutes to go. I mean, already 2-0 for Molde. Um, it's going to be probably a tough game for Malmö. We have a uh, question here from Christian Schaefer. What do you think about the one suit, uh, 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 one one piece suit? A call from referee. Sorry, Christian will answer your uh, question in a second. Call from referee. Free throw against Molde. Um, I, I really think it, it's, it would be better for the male players to start having not just a t-shirt or probably the one. I don't know what's more comfortable. Well, but I never wore one. I wore a shirt. Don't like them that much. Um, but for, you know, it's it's for the protection. Again, it's call from the referee. Uh, didn't see what happened. Uh, referee out of the water gave the sign. The referees are getting uh, up out of the water. Um, and also is already protecting the basket. Yeah. Look, if all everyone could have, you know, t-shirts with think the name Christian and the, the number would be a to, good to sum it up, I think the visibility for players much is much better. better yes. No question. But also to protect the skin. I mean, it's so much better. Okay. So, so attack from Malmö, but uh, um, the, 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 the attack was stopped right in front of the uh, Molde basket. And the ball taken away from the Malmö from the um, Malmö Triton player, and now Malmö is again in attack mode, going into the basket, into the the tight cluster there. Um, we're now on the closed side. I think on the on the surface there is a cluster. They Don't see the ball the right now. The ball and yeah. Coming and you know going from right, but uh, we have four players off. Ah, Ansofi did quite a good job here to uh, disturb the uh, Molde player who was lying just in front of the basket, waiting for a, a team colleague to go in. But they just they swim in, break the attack, and uh, Ansofi pass just on. got the ball. Great job, but okay, didn't succeed to. But very good. Um, I still Mamo is in position is trying to stand these attacks from all the with what they have uh, yeah, they, it's they not pleasant for a goalkeeper to be in this kind of attack I'm telling you no <laughs> but, but well, they okay they recover and then the counter attack and the Molde play was already on it and got the ball back and they are counter attacking very fast uh, it's, it's super exhausting to play uh, uh, against Molde in this in their game because they are controlling the game and yes. uh, but but Malmö does quite a good job to break the pattern to to go through and they're fighting really hard and, and it looks like they're even getting more and more in the game um, to to break the attack pattern of Molde and uh, now we are again on the Malmö Triton basket and, and here it is the goal it is the dangerous thing if you have one of the Molde players on an open side of the basket yeah, and he gets the ball and he's close to the, the goalkeeper, goalkeeper, he will score yeah. because they, they know exactly the technique is so uh, yeah. perfect. Oh, yeah, every one of them can do that and it's, it's exactly what didn't happen in Barcelona and Denmark in the game before that the girls were one against one and couldn't achieve a goal of, and even three against one. So... Uh, Three minutes, no, three and a half minutes left uh, in the first half, 
and it's uh, three zero for uh, Molde. Molde. And and Malmö 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 is struggling. To, they yeah. they do really the best that they can, and uh, they are fighting hard, and they they do a good job. But in the end, uh, uh, what what succeeds in yeah, that's it again. Yeah, Malmo is very situation. consequent and very uh, uh, stronger <coughs> physically uh, from the, the the way they move, uh, the speed they swim. Uh, they are a, a bit stronger, so um, it doesn't take too many waves and the attack to a score for them. But this is what we know from Molde for the last years. They are very, very strong physically, so um, it's very hard for, for other teams to, well, to, to, to um, hold the game. And to, at the end of the, of the first time, they're already exhausted because it gets very, very physical. But um, Malmö gets into position. Uh, right now, the defender a little bit open, and then the, the one of the Molde players was underneath the, the goalkeeper. But uh, the balls are still two, or three meters away from the basket, and they are now trying to do a counter attack. But Molde player just recovered the ball and trying to swim was hauled together and uh, Malmö recovered the position at the basket. Mm. Still, now we have a counter-attack from Malmö and it's too white against too blue, but it took too long and we have now all the Molde players into position, even though Malmö also came with 2-3 to organize the attack. They just lost the ball. They cannot. They don't succeed and build up waves. I mean, normally it's very difficult to uh, score a goal in the one wave. And Moldes just is in a counter attack with three players. Mm, the goalkeeper of Malmo got into position, and that was very close. They recovered the ball, but Molde also recovered it back. And there's no goalkeeper in the Malmo basket. Um, all the players trying to keep the basket empty, but uh, still very fierce fight two meters away from the basket of Malmo. They recover the ball very good and trying to swim and do a counter attack. Three, and Sophie has the ball. Uh, they, one of the mates provide a block and she's trying, but uh, now the ball is on the other side and I can see Sometimes the bubbles don't let me see. The water is still clear now that we can have a good quality. And um, they are on the close corner of Molde basket, but it's not really danger for Molde at all. And now Molde recovered the ball. It's counter-attacking attacking with two players, but that also took quite a time. So Malmo is at their basket with all the players. Four scores, I mean, Molde four, Malmo zero, and now three minutes break uh, for the second time. Um, Molde was the favorite, and uh, this is the Molde we know, and I, it looks like even they are playing quite um, soft. <laughs> Because Malmo uh, is, is cannot, I mean, they're doing a very good job, but um, they cannot really uh, keep up with uh, the, the tactic and, and the strength and the speed of, of Molde. I mean, this is clear. Molde is dominating, and so they don't need to uh, get exhausted on or, or use all what they have. I mean, right now I think Molde is playing and maybe 70 percent of what they can and um, just return sorry there um, so we had just feedback we have a little bit of uh, um, uh, disturbance in in the sound it doesn't seem to be a problem with the cell phones no, we don't have any cell phones around it actually yeah. Yeah, no, but this is this is just Wi-Fi. This is, doesn't work with. Uh, oh. my, my mine does. 
Oh, okay. But uh, if, can you give us feedback if there is a problem with the... Um, um, the sound is... is this yeah, can you give us a feedback about the sound? Um, if you can uh, understand us properly, if there are in in interferences. Interference. Interferences. Um, so we can adjust to that. Uh, all right, um, one minute left in the break uh, of this game, uh, Molde against uh, Triton. Um, once one player, uh, Urban Wirbrink, was playing from uh, um, Malmö Triton, uh, was playing with us here in Berlin. He stayed for here for uh, at least uh, one to two years. Um, Yeah, but Malmö, we have the list of players here, and they have just 11 players, so that makes uh, a difference, you know. I mean, this is the first game, but um, in a long run, not, it's not the same. You have 15 players, and you have 11, and then all of them are playing, and There's even though they don't definitely, have... Yeah, um, yeah. So we have feedback from uh, Christian Schaeffer, uh, sound is scratchy. Uh, okay, I will give this to this, uh, to the... Techies here over there, maybe they're aware of it, maybe we can do something. Um, keep us close it. Ah, sound is not synchronized, yes. Okay, we're back in the game. Uh, second half um, of the game. Uh, Malmö Triton uh, from Sweden against uh, Molde from Norway. And, uh, well, we have the... Yeah, they, there's a mistake in the screen. I mean, it's not uh, being playing against uh, Australia. This is uh, still the second half of the game between Malmö and Molde. So and it's 5-0 it's now. It's 5-0 for Molde. Uh, I will correct the, tell the technicians to correct that. Just hold on a second. So, nine minutes of the second half of Molde against Malmö, and Molde comes back with a counter-attack, but uh, the goalkeeper of Malmö could get into position, even though it was a risky situation, he's safe today. Um, now they're fighting, still quite close to Malmö basket, and... Uh, Malmo looks a little bit uh, chaotic and probably it's because of the pressure that Molde is putting into it. You don't see them, they, they, they are more reacting than, than acting in, in this game. So that's after a while that creates you know, a lot of unrest and, and very stressful for the, for the players. We've seen this actually a lot in the last games when you have a, a, an opponent who is quite strong and who succeeds to Uh, destroy your defense, you get more and more into this rush to to get at least a, a defender or a goalkeeper down yeah. and then the, the, the break comes when you just open up these spaces. So the fight is now again close to the basket of uh, Malmö Triton and uh, here we have another attack on the open side to the basket But didn't succeed. Uh, Malmö succeeded in uh, snatching the ball away and at least uh, swim uh, some meters before the ball is recovered. Ball is recovered by Malmö, yes. uh, by Molde. Sorry. Free throw against Malmö. Three meters away from the basket, and one of the Molde players just stole the basket, and those guys can stay there forever and now they're trying to get to him so he can score his sitting <laughs> like on a throne but um, the snowball keeper why there's no one of uh, Malmo trying to cover the basket now we have another Molde player and oh that was a good um, well oh, that was yeah. a so yeah <laughs> From almost so uh, two, two meters away, uh, t one meter high, two meters away in front of the basket, pass to the Molde player lying on the uh, Triton basket, and uh, it was easy for him to, to score. So, yeah, um, Malmö has struggled really to, to stay in the game 
and we have six minutes uh, 30 left. Uh, Molde in blue, Malmö in uh, from Sweden in white, and it's uh, five should be six zero I think. Um, and yeah, six zero. And uh, Malmö is really struggling um, with this avalanche of uh, experience, uh, physical force, uh, and pure might of uh, Molde here. So this is this is a typical game we see Molde playing. Um, they they go in from both sides, uh, push in, and either the one coming in here right here from the open side of the basket yeah, completely just took away the, yeah, the goalkeeper just, and just pushes in the ball. the ball from top of the goalie, uh, or he passes to his colleague on the other side. But whatever they do, in the end they score. So it's uh, I think it's already seven. So it's seven zero. And um, yeah, there, there are more and more mistakes happen. Uh, Manu Triton just uh, was in attack mode, trying to build up their uh, attack pattern, but lost the ball and uh, not concentrated pass uh, into the hands of Malmö. And now Malmö is again uh, super fast uh, on the close to the basket of um, Manu Triton and uh, even though they, they fight really hard they, uh, but they struggle. They're struggling, yeah. You can see it. Um, they are really uh, a lot under pressure and it's costing them a lot. It's costing them a lot right now. Um, I think they, they right here they, they do their best. Uh, I couldn't give them any advice. Uh, where to change what no, they do? I mean, if comparing the two teams, the experience, the players, uh, Molde came with 14, Malmo came with 11. Now There's again, no the, much the, more yeah, Malmo can the do same thing happens. Doing. We have a counter attack from uh, uh, Molde. Two against two, but I mean, the, with the ball is just on the back of the goalkeeper. Uh, a call from a referee. Uh, the counter attack was yeah, a penalty, penalty against uh, Malmö Triton. I uh, think there was a shoulder in the basket. Uh, you're not allowed to put any body part uh, in the basket, and especially not uh, to uh, push yourself into the basket with the shoulder. So you're not. Uh, uh, so the attacker is not able to push you away. So it's a penalty against uh, Malmö. Already 7-0 uh, for Molde. And which will add, yeah, I think another one, uh, another goal uh, on the score of Molde. Yeah, I also <laughs> um. think so. This time out for Malmö. So one minute. Need to get organized and to see. Hello Ooh. world. <laughs> Hello from Berlin. It is cold here. Yeah, it's getting cold here and we're sitting in the backyard of uh, the pool. In the backyard. Ba in the backyard of the pool almost, not outside. Luckily not outside. Yeah. So let's get back in the bay in the game. Um, maybe there was a timeout. Ah yeah, timeout. Uh, that's a normal thing to do. If you're punished by a penalty, you take a timeout. So you have time to uh, recover. Um, and it's about four more minutes to go, right? Until the yeah, end of the game. about about four minutes, four three minutes, I think. Yeah, next game is uh, Vienna. I mean, Wien against um, the Australian team, Wales. All right, here penalty, Molde in blue against Mamitriton in white. I think it's not a question uh, if, but uh, when. Ah. Well. Seven seconds later. Seven seconds later. Um, so, well, it's just uh, two minutes and 40 seconds left. Eight.
But I mean, Malmo has done a good job. I mean, Molde has been winning the Champions Cup yeah. for the last I ten know, years. Ten years. Uh, I don't know which which the same kind of uh, thing they bring new players in, but uh, some of the players probably played uh, since uh, ten years. Um, Watching this game, uh, uh, I think about the discussion uh, having uh, uh, women in mixed teams or in, in men teams, so to make the mixed teams. Uh, I think Ansafi does a good job, quite a good job in keeping up with the men. Yeah, so we have a counter attack again uh, from uh, Molde to the basket of Mami Triton. And uh, typical, not the attacker tries to score, but he just pushes once, so the goalkeeper orients to him. And then the other one scores. And uh, this was another goal from the close side, coming in with a lot of speed, uh, with no defender. There was a block, so the defender couldn't go in. And uh, with this, you score easily. So no question for uh, Molde to score in this one. So 9-0. So I just check if you are interested. Uh, Molde has won six times in a row since 2010. And a the total Champions Cup, a Champions Cup uh, 2009 was Triton, and then three more times, 2007 and 8, and also 2003. So now again, uh, uh, try the 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 Mami Triton tried to build up attack pattern, but was uh, stopped by uh, Molde. They counterattacked. And it was just one goalkeeper and uh, the attacker, and uh, he didn't even quite stop before scoring. So 10-0 uh, now um, for Molde. One minute left in this game. They could easily score again. You see the. Uh, well, Mama's coming with three. Yeah, they still they trying. still they, they fight in. What I like exactly they they. They didn't give up. They continue. They don't give up, but you see them getting tired. Uh, Finally, yeah. and they cannot do their, their game. I mean, they are just reacting to the attack. And now counter attack still. again. Uh, oh, okay. Three uh, Malmo players could, you know, shape the situation, and the score was still one digit, nine zero. Mm, game for over. Mole. So not that big surprise if you uh, seen the other games of these two teams against each other. Um, and I think Mami did a good job. They didn't give up, uh, but you saw the energy train out of them. Yes, I mean, it was quite a uh, speed game and quite physical as well. Although, again, I think Molde was playing with 70% of what normally what they can play. I mean, they didn't need to put up um, with everything they have against Malmo. You know, it's three days uh, and you have a few games per day, so you need, really need to play clever and to save energy in those games where you can do it. And once you have, you know, few goals on your side and you know you are dominating then you don't need to go with everything you have you still have that chance in the <laughs> games to come 